What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, that's my parents show in the background. I'm sorry. My hair looks kind of crazy. It's because I've had my hair band in all day. Um, for breakfast, I didn't really have anything. For lunch, I had like a cookie. And uh, for dinner, we had um, these big... We had um, corned beef and cabbage to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, which happened on Friday. Which I didn't even make a commemorative thumbnail for because St. Patrick's Day, you know, is so relevant that I forgot it was St. Patrick's Day when I made my Friday thumbnail. So I don't even need to make a commemorative thumbnail because it's so relevant. I don't know why I suddenly have this weird vendetta, about, vendetta against St. Patrick's Day. I don't, but you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day was just super relevant, I suppose. So who who cares about St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> who, can, who cares? Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I had corned beef and cabbage for, for dinner and that was good. Um, you know, nothing's really gone on today. Uh, I had to work from 11 to 3, um, and I had actually brought my hoodie to work so I could wear my hoodie during my lunch break, so I could just put it on, like, be all cozy, put on my hood, you know? Sit in the back of the store and call my phone, right? Um, and that was honestly really nice, because I was just wearing my hoodie, it was all nice and, like, large. And, you know, I was just on my phone, and my entire break was, like, really good and, like, surprisingly refreshing for just 10 minutes, um, because of this hoodie. And it was really nice, I'm really happy about it. Uh, this is actually my first 100% cotton hoodie. Uh, my other two hoodies are 70% cotton, 30% polyester, and I feel like it's rather dishonest to wear um, polyester in clothes, and so I'm trying to go for 100% cotton in everything I own. Um, except for things where it's sort of ideal to have artificial materials, such as somewhere like a rain jacket, or uh, something like underwear or socks, but I'm looking at wool socks, but it seems like a lot of wool socks also have like 1% spandex, so I don't know. Um, and my, and my, you know, my shoes, like my, my Air Jordan 1 mids are, um, like, it's like really bad painted over Corian leather, uh, but, you know, it's still like, um, it's still like, fine. Like, I, I you know, it, there, there's still like some leather in there, uh, there, there's like some fake materials, uh, but I don't really care. I don't know. I feel like shoes are a little bit of an exception to the, um, to the rule, but, you know, I don't know. I'm just hanging out. I'm just doing my thing. I'm so bored. Nothing's really going on. Uh, you know, I just um, contacted Seagate because one of my hard drives stopped working on my NAS server and they're supposed to last at least like eight years. So I contacted them. I am paying $18 for the, um, there are like four tiers of warranty replacement for Seagate and I went for the second tier, like free and then second, third, fourth. I went for the second tier uh, because the, f the free tier was like, oh, send us your hard drive, and once it gets to us, we'll send you a hard drive. But this one is like, oh, we'll just send you a hard drive, and it'll ship back your broken hard drive, like, in the box we sent it to you. Uh, and in my opinion, you know, that's kind of worth it and kind of worth $8, because, you know, <laughs> I don't see any reason why, um, you know, I should have to wait for Seagate. Like, like, Seagate should trust me with sending me a hard drive, and I should just send it back. I, it sucks that I, I would have to use my own box and use my own, like, stamps. I can't, I, how, do, how do I ship things? I, I, you know, I've never shipped something, so. Um, yeah, I went for the, for the second most expensive option. Uh, you know, aside from that, nothing's really going on. I'm probably gonna uh, put my next paycheck entirely toward UPS, probably. Um, I'll probably save a quarter of it, like how I do with all my paychecks, but um, I'll probably put the rest of it to a UPS. Um, so then, you know, my server can survive through like a power outage without breaking a hard drive, which is, I assume, how it broke. Uh, because we've had an abnormally large amount of power outages since I've gotten my NAS server. And I was thinking like, oh, I don't need a, I don't need a UPS because my power supply is very good. Uh, like it's a very uh, highly, like it's a very high quality power supply. And um, I, I sort of splurged on the power supply. And number two, um, we never have power outages. And then we proceeded to have more power outages in like six months than we did the past like 10 years of living here uh, within these like six months of winning the NAS server. Uh, and it broke a hard drive, I think. So we'll see. I'm getting a UPS with my next paycheck. Um, and you know, the UPS will also last the rest of my life. So that'll be a good investment. Well, not the rest of my life, but like a good amount of time, like worth the amount of money I'm spending on. Um, so yeah, you know, aside from that, I'm just hanging out. Nothing else is really going on today. I'm just working on my Seagate stuff. Sort of looking into how to get a driving a driver's license, which is like uh, abnormally difficult. I, you know, uh, I there, all the websites are very poorly designed. Um, so you know, maybe maybe they should pay government agencies more, so then they can hire web designers. But you know, what can you do? I guess. Um, yeah. All right. See you, dude.